Hello, Internet. I have unfortunately come down with a really annoying cold, so I can't shoot the second video I wanted to give you this week. Fortunately, there has been some complaint that despite being a sage, I don't really look the part, being too old and basically not sagey enough. So instead, I will start now a new video series by an old grizzled dude with a huge mustache. It's about a murder in North Carolina in the 1860s, and it will be a multiple part video series. So, enjoy! Hello, Internet. I am the Sage. No, I'm not. I'm much older and much wilder than the Sage. Actually, I'm his father, so you can call me Dad. It's good. In 1958, the Kingston Trio had a great hit with a number called The Ballad of Tom Dooley, uh, a number allegedly written by a man called Thomas Land. This is wrong, of course. Land wrote a poem, not a song, and the only na name he mentioned in the poem is that of the victim, Laura Foster. He didn't mention the name of the, uh, the murderer. Maybe the song grew from the poet, but it developed into many different versions. The Kingston Trios is only one of these. My own interest started when I first heard of, later saw a signpost uh, at the Overlook, the Lump, at milepost 264.4 on Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina, telling about the song. For the last 15 years, I have researched the case on and off. The case and the result of my research is the subject of this series of videos that I present on the channel of Sage Kronzell. If interested, watch the videos. If not, don't. Before going ahead, I would like to thank some of the authors that I leaned on in my research. The first book I ever read about the case was by the late John Foster West, Professor Emeritus from Appalachian State University in Boone, North Carolina, and the title was The Ballad of Tondula. It is written back in 1970. Twenty years later, John Foster wrote, West wrote a new book, Lift Up Your Head, Tom Dooley. This book was partly a resume of his first book, but written in a fashion more readable to an audience not too well founded in the Tom Dooley law. The most interesting book is probably the book written by Charlotte Corbin Barnes, The Tom Dooley Files. Charlotte Barnes is a well-known television researcher from Matthews, North Carolina, and she has spent almost 30 years researching the story. The books about this research and what she found out. This book was published in 2016, so it's rather new. Finally, I have, to a lesser degree, used the book The True Story of Tom Dooley by John E. Fletcher, Ph.D. Dr. Fletcher is a descendant of one of the characters of the story, Anne Melson, who you will hear much more about in coming videos. And well, there you have it. The 150-year-old murder case that the older and, according to himself, wiser sage has been plaguing me and his surroundings with for the last 15 years. I hope you will all find it interesting, and if not, at least we can spread the misery around. So, until we will go on with the first video in this continuing series, I have been the Sage, and I wish you all a very nice day. Bye.